Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, we're taking a look at the latest Destiny 2 news. Yesterday, Bungie released the new Destiny 2 development roadmap, and with it, the release date for the next expansion, Warmind. Okay, here's the thing. I started to write about this yesterday, but I got so pissed off that I had to stop. So here I am, the next morning, trying yet again to write about this without getting pissed off. I will try to keep my disappointment at restrained levels. So let's dive into what's new. The next big update will be on May 8th, and with that, we get a few changes. There's seasonal crucible rankings, private matches, vault space increase, multi-emote, exotic weapon masterworks, seasonal vendor progression, exotic weapon sandbox changes, heroic strike modifiers, and a nightfall challenge card. But most importantly, Warmind. The next expansion is being released. Most of the changes in the 1.2.0 update are cosmetic. Sure, some might be fun, and others might be helpful, but none of them help to fix the problems I see in the game. The problems that are making it harder and harder for me as a solo player to support this game. Nightfall still sucks. There's no motivation to solo it, and this makes trying to get any Nightfall loot almost impossible. Their guided games is lacking in so many ways and needs to be fixed. Matchmaking needs to be an option for Nightfall. Get rid of guided games and replace it with matchmaking. This allows solo players to still try to solo it if they want to, and it gives the rest of us the ability to grind it if we need to. Guided games worked when there was nothing to grind for and you just needed a fire team to complete it. But that Nightfall is sadly gone now. It's something to grind. And if you don't have a fire team, you're not going to be grinding for anything. Heroic Strike modifiers are supposed to arrive with this update. Maybe that will make these strikes less boring to run, but without strike-specific loot, there's no real reason to grind them. It'll be fun at first, but the excitement will fade because there's nothing to grind for. And it seems odd that they're bringing back modifiers to Heroic Strikes but not Nightfall. I don't get it. Instead, we get some challenge card. I have no idea what the hell that is, but I'm guessing if you're an average Joe with no chance in hell of having friends online all the time to play, it'll be completely useless. But the things that concern me the most about the upcoming modifiers to Heroic Strikes, we don't know what they're going to be. Are they going to be the real Destiny 1 modifiers, or the bullshit anomalies and time warp crap from Destiny 2? Also, I'm still waiting for the last update to fully take effect. They were supposed to make the Crucible 6v6 and a quitter's penalty, and they were supposed to be the much anticipated repeat Crucible map strike protection. But all of that was a big fail, because that 6v6 I guess is only for certain games. The rest of us have to suck it. The quitter's penalty, again, only for certain game types, and the rest of us have to suck it. Then there's that much needed repeated map protection. That was out for about a day before they had to remove it because it was yet another thing Bungie released that was broken. So forgive me my discouraged view of the soon to be released update because having more vault space and private matches and all these things on the list aren't that impressive. Most of these things should have been there from the beginning, but they weren't because the fatal flaw with Destiny 2 isn't that it was a bad sequel. It wasn't a sequel. It was a reboot, plain and simple. And the scramble from Bungie seems to be not to make it more like the Destiny we love, but rather how to make it like Destiny without making it Destiny. And that really has me concerned. Also with this update comes the next expansion. And my worst fears have been realized. It's Warmind related. It's so Warmind related, it's called Warmind. And why does this bother me? Because like the Cabal, it's boring. Why do I say that? Because just about every re Warmind related activity in Destiny was boring. From Siva to Rasputin, boring. They do promise new enemies, but my guess is that they're not really new enemies. They're going to be reskinned versions of what we already have. A new Cabal type or a new Fallen type. So not really new enemies. But I could be wrong. And trust me, I hope that I am. But none of the lore was even interesting. And too many times we've been promised things that turned out to only be kind of half true, if at all. I was so excited for the, f the Go Fast update. I said great things about it. And most of it was good for the game. I made a lot. It made a lot of these dull activities less dull. And when you're so desperate for something to stop sucking, 
When it sucks less, you get excited. One day last week, I was able to grind Nightfall for a solid three or four hours. Didn't get shit for the effort, but it was fun trying. I was lucky. A friend was on, and we found a third player. We ran strikes four or five times. Then my friend left. The new guy joined my clan temporarily so we could host some guided games. We ran the Nightfall three or four times. He eventually got the ghost. I got nothing. That's to be expected. It's the story of my life. But it was kind of fun. I admit that. Given the right circumstances, Nightfall can be tolerable or even fun. But for a solo player, that's a rarity. Look, I want Destiny to be awesome. I was very skeptical of the last update, and as mentioned, when it came out, I was thrilled. I don't think it's the solution, or, or, and it made all the problems go away, but it was the first step I honestly felt Bungie made in the right direction. I stand by that, but it's really hard for me to get excited about what I see in the upcoming developer's roadmap, because I don't see any major problems being addressed. About the only solid game changer in the next update is the exotic weapons buff. Because right now, most exotics are a joke in the game. Very few are worthy of even being called exotics. It's like they took exotics from Destiny and said, how could we make these less significant in Destiny 2? Hopefully, them getting a buff or rework will make them worthwhile. As I understand it, there will be new weapons, and that's a good thing. They also say that everyone will have access to new maps in the Crucible. Personally, I don't like that. If someone doesn't buy the expansion, then they shouldn't have access to the maps. If I'm in a fire team and we jump into quick play, the algorithm used needs to throw us into a map mode that applies to the lowest common denominator, meaning we don't play any of the maps that our weakest link doesn't have. But I can deal with that. It does mean there will be more players in any given playlist because there won't be multiple lists based on what content you paid for. But something that has not been addressed that is truly killing the game is the lack of things to do. And none of these updates or expansions talk about that. Sure, there will be new story missions for, for Warmind. They mention new destinations as well. Cool. But once those are done and dusted, then what? Where are the quests? Where are the secret missions and dead ghosts to find? Where is the fun random stuff that always gave you something to do in Destiny? I hope these concerns will be addressed in the Bungie stream come April 24th. I will be there watching it, and I will report back on it. I hope, I really hope, they're going to address these things. Because just looking at this current roadmap, it's a huge disappointment. I know many channels are going to be praising it. Because as I've said before, when something sucks so bad that you love, anything that promises us, even the smallest improvement, is enough for some to lose all sight of reality. I get it. I felt it when the roadmap first came out yesterday. When they announced the expansion date, I don't like anything Warmind related in the game, and I was excited for a minute. But then I took a deep breath and took a long, hard look at this roadmap. I hope that the future is bright for Destiny 2. It's just there's very little shown in this roadmap to suggest it. Either they've left out a lot to save for the April 24th reveal, or it's going to be a long, hot, boring summer in the world of Destiny 2. And that's it for this video. If I've still got your attention, and if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And if we could get 1,187 likes in this video, that'd be great. But most of all, thanks for watching.